Do guinea pigs suffer from toothaches? Part 3. Treatment Do guinea pigs suffer from toothaches? Dental abscess Dr. Singkong Yan, BVMS, Glasgow This video has graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Dental abscesses are swollen or infected wounds that originated from the teeth. If there is a long delay, the guinea pig becomes emaciated, malnourished, dehydrated, and die. Treatment involves three steps. Clipping of the overgrown front teeth, removal of the dental abscess, and extraction of the decayed molar tooth. Clipping of the overgrown front teeth. Removal of the dental abscess has three methods. First is incise and drain. This is the least expensive but may reoccur. The second one is the surgical removal of the encapsulated abscess. Stitch up after excision of the capsule. Third is marsupialization in cases where there is reoccurrence after incision and draining procedures. The third treatment is the extraction of the decayed molar tooth. If your guinea pig is affected by a swelling at the angle of the jaws, take it to the vet for a formal diagnosis. The cause of the abscess will then determine how the wound is treated. The abscess may be caused by fighting wounds or it may be a dental abscess. Antibiotics, drainage, and surgery are all common treatments. There was a gigantic left dental abscess. Pre-treatment includes injection of fluid and vitriol. Gas anesthesia by mask. Why is the mouth painful? The lingual spurs of the molars grow inwards, cutting the tongue or trapping the tongue inside the two rows of spurs. So, the guinea pig cannot swallow or drink water properly. The buccal spurs of the molar grows outwards, cutting the cheeks. Painful infected cheek ulcer cause loss of appetite and dehydration as the guinea pig eats and drinks very little to survive. He becomes emaciated and malnourished. That will be the end of him. The incisors have been trimmed before photography. A mouth gag is used to open the mouth and you can see the molar spurs very well. If there is no mouth gag, an otoscope may be used to check the inside of the mouth for the existence of the molar spurs. Dental abscess. Medical and surgical treatments are required. Three surgical treatment options are available for the treatment of dental abscess. Incision and drainage. At Topayo Vets, I incised and drained the abscess. I made the long incision, drained out the pus. Daily irrigate the wound with antiseptics for 7 days. The owner can continue at home for another 7 days. The abscess may reoccur later. This is the cheapest method and least anesthetic risk. Aspiration alone is not effective as the pus forms. The decayed molar tooth can be extracted when the guinea pig is in better health. The owner has to return for this dental work. However, the owner did not return for dental work or had gone to another vet. Encapsulated abscess surgically removed. Remove the capsule of the encapsulated abscess. The skin wound is stitched up. An Elizabethan collar is worn. Daily cleaning of the wound for 10 days. Antibiotics will be given. On this procedure, there will be no occurrence. The guinea pig was in poor health and therefore not done till he was rehydrated and stronger. Marsupialization. To do the marsupialization, whereby you stitch up the, whereby you stitch up the, the mucosa to the skin. So that means you stitch up this part to this part and keep it an open wound until uh, a few, few, maybe a few weeks so the owner can clean up. The owner can syringe in, syringe in the chlorhexidine. Yeah, this, that's what we're demonstrating now. Every day, twice a day, to clear all the bacteria inside. This bacteria comes from the, from the jaw abscess because of the decay in the teeth. Yeah. So the owner will do it twice a day. That's what we'll demonstrate. 
The next step is the extraction of the molar. The decayed tooth must be extracted using rodent dental set. It may be near the ventral opening of the abscess and can be pulled out using forceps. Tips and advices An abscess in the mouth or around the jaw may be a symptom of dental disease. Your vet may need to identify and remove any problematic teeth. Skull x-rays are needed. Get surgery if there is a jaw abscess. If the abscess is severe, your vet may recommend the more detailed surgery rather than incision and drainage. This surgery is called encapsulated abscess removal. It will completely remove the abscess. This is needed when the vet cannot fully drain the abscess or if other underlying problems are contributing to the abscess. The other surgery is called marsupialization. The vet makes a long surgical wound. He stitches the inside layer of the wound to the skin. The sutures will remain on your guinea pig for up to two weeks. You will need to syringe saline into the wound to flush out any pus and debris daily for around two weeks. Let the vet know if you prefer him to do it in his practice. The guinea pig wears an Elizabethan collar to prevent scratching of the wound. Painkillers will be prescribed. Home nursing by daily cleaning of the wound is important. Medications are usually delivered by mouth. Batril and Bactrim are the most common antibiotics given to guinea pigs. If it is a fungal infection, he may be given Grisofulvin. Many common antibiotics such as amoxicillin and tetracycline are toxic to guinea pigs when given by mouth. However, they may be injected under some circumstances as this has less impact on your pet's gut health. As guinea pigs are strictly herbivorous animals, one veterinary report the recommended antibiotic treatment odontogenic abscess is a combination of fluoroquinolones and metronidazone. This is the end of video 3 over 4. Please follow through with Do Guinea Pigs Suffer from Toothaches? Prevention Video Part 4 I hope you learned something on this video. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit www.tupayovets.com or judiatupayovets.com or call to our clinic number 6254-3326.